This fall, if you live in Portland, you're going to be able to vote on whether you want the entire city government rebuilt pretty much from the ground up. A lot of people in this city, even plenty who work at City Hall, say the city that works, well, doesn't. And it's time to throw out the current form of government and start over. A few weeks ago, the city's Charter Review Commission released their plan to do just that, and it goes to the ballot this fall. They suggest three big changes. First, they'd split the city into four geographic districts. Each district would elect three of its own city councilors, so we'd have 12 together. You'll also be able to rank the candidates in order of preference rather than just voting for the top person. And the city councilors would no longer manage the city bureaus. They would work on policy and the day to day management of the bureaus would go to the mayor and a new city manager. A lot of you had questions about all these changes and we discussed them with the co-chair of the Charter Commission. And Marie sent us this email reading, please ask the City Charter Commission for a map of the four geographic districts. And Dennis had a similar thought. He wrote, uh, the city's already divided southeast, northeast, northwest, north, southwest, and south. That's six, some small, some big. Well, the map, to tell you the truth, apparently has not been drawn yet, but it won't necessarily be divided the way the streets are. The districts will be weighted by population um, so that they represent similar size population. Um, it would be a community bod body that would be charged with drawing the district lines and they would have criteria such as, you know, uh, drawing the lines in a way that's uh, fair and representative of natural boundaries and, um, and things like neighborhoods and communities of interest. So, um, so there's a process that would be outlined in our charter amendments. And then that group uh, will be appointed after, after the election to actually do the first districting exercise. And then every 10 years after the census, there would be a redistricting process, similar to what we do for the state legislature, for the federal legislature, where you have the House of Representatives districts get re redrawn every 10 years, just to keep that uh, population uh, balance between the districts. A big question a lot of you had, how much are these changes going to cost us? And the new proposals, you have 12 counselors now instead of four. And my question is about salary. Is the salary going to be decreased so that we don't have to pay for an additional eight counselors? Or are the counselors' salaries going to be uh, decreased by a third so that, uh, so that, so that we, we pay them the same salary that we're paying now? Excellent question, Diane. I don't think the salary is going down, although it's maybe not decided yet. The Charter Commission says they're not sure exactly what's going to happen. They're working out the details in the coming months, but they say that they think by restructuring the government, they're going to be able to save money in the end, even with more counselors. We think that there could be quite a few uh, changes that would result in efficiencies and saving of money. There are a number of bureaus that have functions within their bureaus that are duplicated, and those add to cost quite a bit with a more streamlined and um, operationally efficient uh, government on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we think there'll be some significant savings there, um, and there will be, there may be more costs associated with um, with some parts of the proposal, but they may be offset. And we don't know this for sure yet. We're going to be studying this in the next phase. Excellent. Those are just a couple of the questions that a lot of you have asked. We know there's more. Please send them to us. The story at KGW.com. We'll look into it for you.